I want to talk about something that we have to understand. And in some cases, what some people have to change. Well, not in some cases, in all cases, what some people have to change. When you see people who are having trouble in serving God, or when you see people who are deeply in sin, don't see yourself better than they. Don't have this arrogance about yourself believing that you are this top person above them like they are like dirt or something like that. Like, don't turn your nose up against those people. Does that make any sense? When people are having trouble with serving God, when people are deeply in sin, we must show them love. Not just point our finger at them and say, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that, you know. We have to show them love. Now, we have to correct people, you know, when they do things wrong and stuff like that, yes. But what I am saying, like, in some cases, what some people do, they only speak to you when they want to correct you which is not good. If you are willing to correct a person, you have to be willing to say positive things to that person as well. Because think about it. Who really wants a person speaking to them only when they mess up? Who really wants someone to speak to them when, how can I say this? Would you really like a person to speak to you when they see themselves as being better than you? Like they are higher in morals and stuff like that. Would you really want a person to speak to you that act in that way or see themselves in that way? Of course not. Be more compassionate. Do things in love. Does that make any sense? You know, don't talk behind their back and say, you know, that dirty little sinner there, you know, they are just going to go to hell pretty soon, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Because as you already may know, Slandering a person is a sin. So we don't want to fall into sin over petty little things. Well, we really don't want to fall in sin at all. <laughs> I would think so, right? So really take heed to this. Don't be arrogant. Don't see yourself as this perfect man or woman of God. Like, hey, you know, I pray 20 hours a day and I read the Bible, blah, 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 and you don't do any of it. So that makes me better than you or, you know, I hold this position in the church, you know, where I teach in front of people and you don't. Man, stop that. Stop that. Do things out of love, not in competition or this strife and stuff like that, man. No. Take heed to this. God bless.